Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 38. Today we are showing off Seaplane 25 and this is made by Archaic Alibi who happens to be another KSP YouTuber so I recommend you guys go ahead and check out his channel in the description. But without waiting, let's actually launch this craft. So Archaic Alibi tends to make seaplanes occasionally. I think that's what his passion is. Hence why I actually submitted a seaplane. <laughs> and uh, in the message that he sent me, along with the craft, he mentions that he wanted to start up with his own like subscriber design series in a way, but like no one was sending him any designs. So if you guys, if any of you guys have sort of missed out on, you know, me featuring your seaplane or something like that, Go ahead and send it to Archaic Alibi. <laughs> Give him something, will you guys? Come on. Everyone must have something. Sharing is caring. Oh, anyway. So this is meant to be an amphibious vehicle. And, you know, it, it's, there's nothing inside it. But, you know, if, if you wanted to, you could add something. Uh, as far as the design, I didn't think it was going to lift off early as it did in the runway. But it did, so... Yeah. Uh, and it, it's also unfortunate that in KSP, we can't really increase the thickness of wings. It's very limited, and so Archaic Alibi had to actually place multiple wings here, and... I suppose it doesn't really look good, but, you know, that's what he had to do. So, yeah, kind of, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, although, I suppose there's one way around it where you could have put fuel tanks, angled fuel tanks, all the way along. And, you know, if you make sure that the wings, you know, provide enough space that the fuel tank fits, you know, flush on the inside there, then it wouldn't look too bad, I guess. But, you yeah, it's all about personal preference here. So let's quickly speed this up. We want to land. Uh, I did, when I did launch this before, I was traveling at like 300, almost 300 meters per second. And I hit the ocean and just instantly was demolished, so rest in peace all the Kerbals. Oh no, we are traveling too fast, I think. Okay, here we go. Here we are, we're gonna store. Let's do it. All the way up. Oh yeah, this is it. Oh no, this is a bad decision. Bad decision. Okay, that was bad, oh no. We're just falling. We're just falling. Okay, let's gain some momentum. And lift. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Yep, yep, we're good. Okay, that was dangerous. I'm still a noob, guys. Don't worry. Noob for days. <laughs> noob for years, actually, since I've been playing KSP for a while now. Oh, oh, it's landed in the ocean. Yay. <laughs> okay, cool. So, it does land in the ocean. Confirmed. Let's see if we can actually lift off. This is what I want to see. I like to see seaplanes lift off. It's always cool. Here we go. 40 meters per second, 50. It's got a decent speed, I suppose it should. Hey, look at that. Early liftoff. This is actually pretty good. Very well made. 10 out of 10, guys. Very nice. So, yeah, and I love these new engines in KSP. I still love them. They're the best. <laughs> Barely use them, but I love them. They're so cool. Yeah, so overall, good design. Can't complain. Uh, I suppose we'll go into the next design. How do we finish this design? What is that red thing? Huh? Oh no, it just looked red on my screen for some reason. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I suppose we'll go ahead and crash. Let's see if we can do this. We will save a Kerbal along the way. Jebediah, you will be saved. And... Oh damn, he died. Wait, did he die? Yeah, he did. <laughs> the final design is known as the dragon plane. Oh, scary guys. It can breathe fire. No, it can't, but you know. <laughs> well, I suppose it can since it has jet engines, but oh, it's more like breathing exhaust, but all right. Um, <laughs> this design is made by Butter Kirby. Yes, and he also has a YouTube channel. Link in the description, of course. And let's see for the instructions for this plane. The plane will take off as soon as you reach down the runway. Yep, I get it. Um, there's also the booster that helps you lift off. Okay. Plane has a tendency to stall. I'm sure about that. I tested it. 
You can get curled out of the cockpit onto the seat, just turn brakes out, and not much of but something. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, I read something there. Uh, I don't always read these descriptions properly. I miss out on so much useful information that will help me. Oh! Okay, we almost hit the ground there with the tail. But we are alive! Wow, this is so cool looking. So kawaii. Oh, I like that angle. Here we go. It is, it's just randomly turning, I think. What in the world's going on? Let's fix up the view here. Free. Ooh. Wait, okay, so if we turn off... If we click number one, for the action groups, that turns off these basic jet engines that help you sort of lift off. So they're no longer needed, of course. Uh, what I do like about the design here is that the actual jet engines, they're placed nicely on the bottom here. I think that just looks good. Yeah. Oh, no. See, uh, uh, we're going to have some issues here with this design. Okay, I think I just crashed it. Ah, there we go. I suppose it looks good, but I struggled to use it. In case be frozen. Fantastic. Oh, no. Oh. Frozen. Frozen. Yeah. Frozen. Crash. Come on. Crash. You can do it. You can do it. A simple crash. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Well, surprisingly, my game did not crash. But I decided to end the video there because we are done. <laughs> of course. So I'd like to thank the two subscribers for their submissions. They are, of course, Archaic Alibi, who submitted the seaplane. And finally, Butter Kirby for the dragon plane. But don't forget to send uh, a cake alibi some designs. He, I don't know if you'll use them or not, but send them anywhere. Flood his inbox. So, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.